We at Norton Healthcare want to make sure that you have all you need to know about COVID-19 as we work through this challenging time. I sat down with some of our experts to talk all things COVID-19. Today, we cover how people are catching COVID-19. How is COVID-19 transmitted? So there's two main ways that we believe it is transmitted. One is uh, by droplet or airborne, uh, airborne spread, and the other is by contact. Uh, we think right now that the coronavirus lives in the air for several hours uh, and on surfaces for up to six or seven days, which is one of the reasons why we feel like it's so contagious. If I have COVID-19 and I sneeze for the next several hours, people who come into that space could potentially contract the virus. I think they're still studying a lot about this uh, new coronavirus, but I believe that's a true statement that uh, you could walk into a room potentially that had someone there uh, and they may not even be in the room anymore and potentially still be uh, inf infected, particularly with contact. So when we talk about it being in the air, we, we've heard that you should at least be six feet away from someone. So can that still reach me? The idea of the six feet rule is that that's going to help prevent um, contact with a droplet and, and if there is any aerosolation of the, of the organism, uh, you, you should be far enough away that um, you're not uh, infected. But that, that, some of this with this new virus remains uh, uncertain. These are challenging times. People are experiencing a lot of anxiety right now. Is there any piece of hope that you can give people? Well, I think um, obviously the bad news is, is that the virus is in our community. Uh, the good news is, is that the vast majority of people in the community are not going to be harmed by that um, uh, in terms of their health. Um, and and the, the hope is, is that this is going to be a short, limited situation and we're going to come out the other side and, and go back to, to, for the most part, business as usual. We are seeing some hospitalized patients. I want to reiterate that, that the, even our own data is showing that 85 to 90 percent of these folks are going home uh, with very minimal symptoms on discharge. They're doing great. Uh, that's consistent with what we've seen in other countries and what's reported out there as well. For